weight. I really, there's, I have some passions that have been kind of like unexplored things that don't even have to do with my academic interests. And one of them is health and fitness. I was coming in to change unsure about what exactly I wanted to do for my project. I knew I wanted to involve the community in some way, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. And Kevin brought up running a bone marrow drive on campus. What's, what's better you can do than like save lives? So bone marrow is the one to do. And also, I knew there was like a lot of misconceptions, as, um, which I think you're gonna talk about in the presentation later. So like about how much it hurts. That basically uh, discourages a lot of people from like potentially donating more and signing up for that. So I feel like that was misconceptions to like make awareness of it's not actually that painful. To change was determining what exactly we wanted to do. Um, you know, community projects go out agent of change, awesome, we all want to do that, we're all motivated, but trying to decide, you know, what exactly we want to do is the hardest part of that. Um, so, I knew that I wanted to incorporate my academic interests and um, general interests um, in the environmental studies into my mission change project. And so one of the ways that I thought I could do that was with the aquifer, the Edwards aquifer, which is a huge um, asset to the San Antonio region. So what that means for us is basically we want to be facilitators and coordinators through grant writing, finding money to uh, allocate to the need that's present in Ecuador. So first, we're trying to find out what that need is. Right now we have a hunch that it's cardi cardiology. We're not sure yet. Um, that's the way it's looking. And we want to bring help to the area. Uh, right now it's, we're looking to find money for doctors and a team of students from Trinity to uh, go to Ecuador and we would learn all these terms and things and then we would go with the doctors and talk to the families mainly because they travel from the different provinces and they come to get their to get the surgery within the one or two weeks that the doctors are there. So um, we work mainly with the families to explain to them what the procedures are. It's a project that was started a little over three years ago because as undocumented, underage students or I guess teenagers who come into the United States, they used to be put into juvenile detention. The shelter specifically that I work with is teenage boys from 12 to 18. The day they turn 18, they have to leave the shelter. But um, so I was thinking, okay, who are they going to want to hang out with? And Trinity students are a bit older, so other youth. And where do you find large groups of youth? But, Youth groups. Um, so I started um, trying to contact.